versus Isaiah. This is going to be really exciting. Apex 2013 uh, Grand Finals <laughs> revisitation, perhaps. We're going to see if Hammerheart is as good as Kikoshi in this matchup. But This is going to be really interesting because we've seen so far that Hammerheart is just really good with that micro spacing and, and finding those tiny openings. And uh, Isaiah, oh boy. I mean, I, I don't think I need to say anything about that. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's hard, you know, to play Isaiah. Yeah, it is not, it sure it is, is not easy. That said, nice fast. You know, I think there. Uh, I think Hammerheart's going to give us a good showing, if nothing else. And easy down smash for Isaiah. So, I mean, this matchup, we talked about it briefly before uh, in some other division, but, you know, this is, oh, good DI. This is pretty damn hard for Mario, um, but it isn't, you know, impossible like it would be, you know, it, it's not on the level of Pika, right? Sure. Um, although Kirby does edge guard Mario very well. As like such. that. <laughs> he doesn't really have to worry about... Uh, gimps that much uh, mm -hmm. when he comes out and, you know, goes deep. So, up B. Oh, down. Oh, wow. That's a, a very interesting thing that not a lot of people do. Um, it is not common to see people down B out of shield. You know, because yeah. you, have to, you have to jump first and then down B. Uh, but if you know you've got the window, it can be a great defensive option. Yeah. And Paco beat Jaime. Wow. This event continues to stun. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, very... Eh, uh, it's a close game, but I also feel like Isaiah's kind of doing Isaiah things right now. <laughs> yeah. Hammerheart. Good down tilt. I got a little greedy. It's amazing to me that yeah. we're not seeing the we're not seeing the sort of pro spacing and, and camping that we saw in Hammer and Hart's other match uh, versus Jaime. We're uh. seeing <laughs> what looks, for all intents and purposes, uh, to be a very typical match. Very, I mean, very difficult. Oh, and he wanted that perfect land on or double jump land rather onto the top flap for the up smash. I assume. All right. Uh, not enough mash. Yeah. That's what he's looking for. That's all it takes. 2-2. Two, two. Isaiah in a tenuous lead. Great fastball in there. Hammerheart's recovering pretty well, but, uh, <laughs> you know, Isaiah is still, like, oh. calling, <coughs> calling everything out. Yeah, this is, it's nothing that he hasn't seen before. Oof. So Hammerheart in a switch up uh, has taken a new strategy. He's, he's taken to the plat, yeah. Okay. Taken to the platforms instead of trying to chase Isaiah down. Which, I mean, smart, but he snags him, snags him out of the air. Get up attack. Even though Isaiah is way down on the ground there, Hammerheart is sort of floating in the air because he knows that he's a little bit vulnerable when he's standing on the stage. Yeah. Mario can just jump right through and, and poke him due to his quick vertical speed. Great defensive up B. Oh. <laughs> What's amazing? <laughs> Janitor beats CTG 3-2. Wow. Very interesting top eight we have. Last stock situation, but you know, this is the the problem, you know, that Kirby has is you can't really combo Mario to death too easily. You get sure. like maybe three up tilts, reverse bear nair or something. Yeah. And you know, it's not like Mario can combo Kirby to death that easily, but three up tilts nair. 
Yeah. 60%. Yeah. He's got to rely Ooh, but on... You have to edge guard, which... Sure. And that's it. There. Yeah, he's got to rely on good edge guards. He's got to rely on combos that get him off the stage rather than kill him. And he's got to rely on tech traps to do that most of the time. Yeah. Yeah, I saw. We said it. Huh? Here we go, game two. Isaiah opting to, you know, stick on the ground. Okay. So, something I've noticed um, that uh, Japan does very well, and we, as Americans, have not really incorporated too well, we can sky camp. You know, it's perfectly fine. You know, you ask anybody in America, they'll, they'll sky camp fine, right? Um, <laughs> sure. <laughs> like, they just know. But... That was a very low percent kill. That was yeah. SD, really. Um, yeah, it was just a, a bad estimation on the movement of the cutter by Hammerheart. But a lot of right. Americans, when they sky camp, when they're being sky camped, rather, they oh. don't really know how to deal with it. Sure. Um, and they end up being, you know, uh, approaching from the bottom, uh -huh. which, you know, is a problem. Ooh, baby! <laughs> and Some great DI by <laughs> Hammerheart. He really faked out Isaiah there. Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> But the uh, you know the place to be is the side platform. It's the safest spot, uh, mm. and it's the best place to threaten. Mm. And you know if you watch when Hammerheart takes to the skies, Isaiah will move to the side plat. And I feel like that's something that just America in general can get a lot better at mm. instead of trying to attack from the bottom and inevitably losing all the time. So, but a quick. Uh, Quick stock lead for Isaiah. Stray Nair. <laughs> Hammerheart trying to fish for those up tilts, but uh, he's not going to get them. Not today. Good retreat, but... Uh -huh. Oh, almost. He was very greedy there. Yeah. But, oh. I mean, he knew that there was no downside to trying it. Mario wasn't going to come back and get him. Nice tech trap. Or tech chase, rather. Very hard here to get back on stage. Oh. Hammerheart had the shield pressure, and he could have pressed the advantage, but he would risk pushing Mario off the stage to do it, and that would open him up potentially to a reversal. So instead, he backed oh. away. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, he's got very good awareness, you know, of, of safety. Yeah. But Oof. Dash grab. As we say it. Uh, Isaiah missed spaces there. Uh, I was expecting a an up smash, but none came. Yeah. And an up smash by, by Mario on the top plat would certainly oh, kill Kirby at 60, 64. Yeah. Shout out to the community. Oh. Yep. Quick uh, Nair to break out of the combo. Ooh. I felt like Hammerheart tried to duck there, but I don't know why. Yeah. Kirby's um, forward smash on shield is actually not positive. Uh, you, can, you can act after it, but I think it's character dependent of what you're actually able to do. Sure. You know, like Samus can up B. Um, Pika cannot be. I guess Mario, like, I think Mario grabbed, Isaiah grabbed, but I don't know if Mario, if the grab will work, because I huh. think Jab will connect beforehand. I think Hammerheart was a little slow. Interesting. So. Huh. It probably also depends on the, the distance. Yeah. You know, when, when at the hitbox, or where at the hitbox the forward smash makes contact with your shield. Same, same thing as before. That tech away, and then that's the forward smash. Uh oh. Oh. And good, there, good Hammerheart knew that Isaiah was going to come at him from the side platform, and he waited. That was good. Ooh. Oh. How did that? How man. did either of those things miss? <laughs> Isaiah going oh, for no. a lot of drills. Isaiah just needs one solid hit to close out this game. A 
Wispy is creeping. Down oh. tilt. What? That is such a disjointed move. Very underutilized. Yeah. And that's not the first time that we've seen Isaiah use it in this match. Ooh, weak up there. So, I mean, at this point, Kirby really has to beware of anything like that. Oh. <laughs> really beware yeah, of anything. Is. Fantastic. So so in the last two games, we've seen Hammerheart discover that camping on the top plat is a good strategy in general. And we've seen Isaiah adapt to that strategy and figure out how to how to meaningfully and, and competently assault that yes. defensive position. And so now we're sitting at a 1-1, and Hammerheart is back in the position of figuring out, okay, now, now what's the strategy I, I go with now? Because yeah. Camping at the top plat, maybe that's not so so strong after all. Or at least I need a fallback strategy for when Isaiah, you know. Yeah, and Hammerheart, um, you know, I, I've spoken to him a few times throughout our, our tenure, um, mm -hmm. but he um, was talking to me about when he played, I believe, maybe Maypon or someone. Um, sure. Ooh, or not perhaps a foul. Ooh, Isaiah. triple bear. But he said, you know, that um, he he wasn't doing too great with Sky Kirby. Uh -huh. And then he was like, I'm just going to switch it up and go, like, really aggressive brown Kirby. And, mm -hmm. he, you know, he turned it around and won. Yeah. So he's always thinking about, like, how to change up the style as opposed to sticking to, like, the blueprint for the matchup. Uh -huh. Which... You know, it was a really good idea to disturb your opponent. Like, if you, you know, go into Kirby Yoshi or something and you're playing against a Yoshi or a Kirby who's not on the ground or who's not in the sky, mm -hmm. it may throw you off a little bit because it's not what you're used to, right? Yeah. So this may be... Oh, jab crap, but gets DI. Gets a couple up airs. I was expecting, you know, send them off stage. And that's oh, happened... Man many times. Wow. Hammerheart now up two stocks on Isaiah. Oh, oh man. Okay. Sharks yeah. that back air through. It's going, okay. That's a very, you know, good recovery tactic uh, for Kirby to just hang out at the uh, uh, triple bear, hang out, threaten the top plat, but, you know, attack the side, or land on the side, sure. go really high. But Isaiah's down 4-1. And whatever Hammerheart did <laughs> seems to have worked. Yeah. Can't really detect what the change was, though. He started playing a, a way more uh, <laughs> up-tilt heavy uh, top plat game, which is not something you typically see. But Isaiah is trying to assault him uh, in the air. Yeah. And that up tilt is going to just shut that down. And so the the answer, Come you know, from you, below. yeah, <laughs> yeah. But then Kirby's got that that dare. So right like that. Ooh. So what do you do? I really don't know uh, what Isaiah there. has up Another his sleeve. One? Yep. And uh, time and time again, Isaiah has gotten hit by that. Yeah. Man, I think Isaiah's only hope for this game is if uh, is if Hammerheart taunts. <laughs> That's gonna put him in a really favorable edge guard. And this is, I mean, this might be a three stock. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Three stock from Hammerheart on Isaiah. He's got to be feeling good about that. Yeah. It's not every day Isaiah gets three stocked. Yeah. But look at him. He's still stressing out. He's like, okay, what do I need to? What, how can I anticipate Isaiah's response to this? What's he going to do? He's going to come at me with something I've never seen before. <laughs> I mean, Hammerhart's playing really safe. Yeah, you know, uh, he is. He's not really making any bad choices, you know? Or at least if he is making a bad choice, it's something that isn't allowing him to get punished. Yeah. You know? Oh. Yep, there it is. I, I kind of think Isaiah should not tech away or tech in. He should probably... No, he can't get it. It's, it's such a hard decision because when you're in that position, you're thinking, no matter where I tech, they're going to get me. I would, 
I would say Tekken plays because he's continuously forward smashing. So he's reading, you know, the direction and then uh -huh. just forward smashing in that direction. If you Tekken plays, you have less lag. Right? That's true. So That's true. Yeah. you go for the Tekken plays, maybe the shield jump, you know, or like up B out of shield, down B out of shield, something, you know. But whatever it is, I mean, Isaiah's been hit by down air forward smash like 12 times. Up there? Yeah. Yeah, and you really don't want to hit with that part of the smash. With that part of Nair that's so quick. Yeah. Right? Like, yeah. Nair out of shield is such a good defensive move. Good retaliation move. Hammerheart with the percent lead. That was, oh, that was not a great tech away. It was right into the wheelhouse. Tried to press his advantage after that, that little hit, and he missed a Z cancel on the side platform. And that's really put him in a bad position here. Uh, oh, but he turns it right around. Isaiah has really overextended a lot. Yeah. Um, there's not much, you know, that Mario can do when he overextends like that. I think a big part of the reason this matchup is oh, so no. scary is that Mario just doesn't really have any, like, really threatening moves on Kirby, right? Like, That's true, yeah. His shield pressure isn't great. Oh, right through the fireball. His up smash can kill pretty early, but he on shield, doesn't... Not yeah, really there, right? Like, yeah, he doesn't really have any great setups for it. to get the extra damage. Another overextension. Fireballs. Trying his luck on the bottom plat. <laughs> and evidently decides that he doesn't want to do that. was a really good wait for the down tilt to come out. Yeah. Down tilt is an incredible move, but it does have a fair amount of end lag. And when you're at that distance, you can't punish with, you know, with a grab or with something. But. Mm -hmm. So now... Oop. Yeah, it's just so hard for Mario to get anything. I wonder if Isaiah will switch off of Mario if he loses here. I don't know. Well, it doesn't matter because it's the end of the set. Well, he would go into losers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought you meant like in the rest of this. I'm like, well, yeah. he would unplug. <laughs> oh, good strain there. And this could, you know, be the start of it. The start of the hammer heart in... Ah. Well goes done, down 1-3 to Hammerheart. That's a, that's a history book win right there. And now we have LD 